Now, we've put our next piece around the window, and we've reattached our thermostat, and now we're ready to do our inside corner. So this is a number four, so this is one of our evens. So we take a piece that we have gotten ready and we've booked out of the bag. I'm going to take it to the wall. Now this one's going to take a little bit of time, so just be patient. This is going to go, I'm going to show you how to do a truly professional inside corner. Gently pull our paper down. Take it to the wall. Now we're going to match the corner on the left side. We're just going to tack this right side. We're, we're going to put that down later, but right now I'm more concerned with the left side. Okay, I am going to butt my seams together. Remember, we don't overlap, we just butt them. Now I'm going to gently push this into the corner and just tack this right side. Gently pushing this into the corner. We're going to actually place this right side uh, on in a little bit. All right. Gently setting my seam. Again, pull away. You don't want to stretch the whole piece, so you pull this away. So you can sort of push it into the corner like so. Now I'm going to smooth this left side down only, gently. Remember, a gentle hand is always better. Gently into the corner. this side down. Make sure your pattern is matched well. Still matched well. Okay, there again, I'm still not laying this side down. Now, I'm going to continue on the left side. Now, I'm going to pull the bottom piece out. Pull it gently. There we go. Where we had it booked. There we go. Now again, gently pushing into the corner, making sure my seam is matched. Gently pushing into the corner. setting my seam, and we're going to continue smoothing this down, gently again pushing into the corner, like so. Wash down your left side. Okay, now we're going to go back to the top so I can show you how we're going to actually place the piece. Okay, now I've smoothed my left side down nicely and my seams are set. I'm not going to trim this yet though. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this corner and I'm going to use a little bit different way of cutting it. And this is only, the, you'll only use this really when you ever do an inside corner. So again, remember, we just tacked this, we didn't, we didn't put it down tightly. Okay, now what I want to do is going to take my smoothie into the corner. I want to do this good. And now you're asking, well, why do I have to cut this corner? Why can't I just wrap it around? Because a couple of things. It looks, it doesn't look good, number one. But number two, when it dries, it will pull away. And so if you have a curious child or somebody and it pulls away and dries, then it'll be pulled away and, and they could poke their finger through it and it'll tear your paper. So 
I'm going to take my smoothie and I'm going to use it as a trim guide. My smoothie is a little bit thicker than my other trim guide I've been using. I want a little bit of this paper when I cut here, a little bit of this side onto this side. Now that sounds confusing. I'm going to use this and when I use this it will allow me to have a little bit of lip of paper onto this wall. Then I'm going to pull this free and slide it over matching the pattern so that it's a cut seam but it doesn't, it looks perfectly matched and it, when it dries you won't have that where you can put your finger through it. Okay, sharp blade, remember sharp blades. And the reason you want sharp blades is because you don't want to rip. You know, dull blades will rip the paper. It won't tear um, nice and cleanly. So I'm putting this against the wall, against this. I'm cutting on this wall is where I'm cutting. And I'm going to cut this all the way down. Time to change our blade. Now, before I get off the ladder, I'm going to pull this free. Because we're going to place it back on there. And see how it left just a little bit of a lip onto this wall here. Now, let's cut it all the way down this way, and then I'll show you how we place this over. Now, I'm going to trim the top. I've already trimmed the bottom on this piece on the left. Pull this away. I'm going to wipe my baseboard, wipe my piece. So now my piece on the left is completely hung and set. Now because I have put a little tiny lip of, of this side onto this side the way I cut it with that with the smoother, I'm going to have to put a little bit of stickies seam adhesive on this little lip. Because this is a vinyl, solid vinyl paper, this adhesive will adhere when I put this over top. So we'll run a nice little bead all the way down. Now I'm ready to place my right side. Remember, we don't stretch. So pull the piece away. Now I drew a new plumb line here because I was able to measure and knew that I was going to have my other side of my piece right here. So where is my match going to be? Look at your pattern. There's my match right there. Now the most important part is that our new our piece on this wall, starting our new wall, is, is hung level. So I've lined it up against my level line. Now, 99% of all inside corners are not square. Don't let that bother you. This is, by matching the pattern, this is going to make this corner look very good. Smooth it down. Going to wipe, set our seam. Now I'm going to trim my top. Like so. Change my blade. I'm going to make sure that my piece on this side is nice and smooth. There was just a little bit over here. That's, there we go. 
Now I'm going to wipe off any excess seam adhesive. You see how the pattern matches. Wipe this down. Now I'm going to continue smoothing this all the way down. And because this corner is not square, a little bit of this side of the paper is on this side. And I'm going to cut it into the corner to make it perfectly flush. I smooth it down like so. Now I take notice I'm using this trim guide because I want it to be all the way into the corner. I make sure I have a fresh blade. We don't want jagged edges and tearing. And I'm gently cutting through. Removing this little piece. Now I'm going to wash this down, remove any little bit of adhesive that's in my corner. And I'm going to wash the right side down, set my seam. But look how wonderfully that seam matches. 